guys, it's John from ReproductiveGarden.com. Now I did a um, video yesterday which I thought was going to be a plan to save the bees in this top bar hive. See, one of the things that I had done was to reduce the entrance hole here to only one bee. And I thought that was something that was going to help them to defend their hive. Um, I'll just explain back a bit, and I do explain this um, in the video that I made. But um, when I put the comb in here, I put it here in... I guess a careless way that allowed honey to run out along this board at the bottom here. Okay, that attracted robber bees. They started giving these guys a hard time. Um, there was a stage when I thought they were done for and then had a look at them later on and I thought these guys have got a chance and came together with a plan to, to help them come through. Anyway, um, that was not to be. There still are a few robber bees hanging around here. There were a few buzzing around. They seem to have gone now. Um, but anyway, I'll let you watch the video. I did debate whether I would put this video up or not, but I decided it is a good learning experience, even if just um, about the honey at the, at the front there. Um, yeah, so I thought, good lesson to teach people, a lesson hard learned by me. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at the video. Right, what happened is I put that honeycomb, I tried to attach it to the bar after the video, couldn't do it. I tried to attach it during the video as well, couldn't happen. Made a bit of a mess of the honeycomb. I left it in the hive to, so that the bees here could get the honey out of it and put it into other comb that they had. One mistake I made was I didn't put it on a plate or anything like that. And what happened was the honey, with the little false or the swinging floor that I put in, the honey started running out of there, attracted other bees who gave this hive a fairly hard time with robbing, okay? Um, there's actually a fair few dead bees in here at the moment. Anyway, I thought they were gone. I had a look at them later that night when all the robber bees had sort of gone away and the queen was still there. They were still doing a good job keeping their brood. I thought there was still enough with a little bit of help to keep this going. So anyway, I have a plan. I had taken their sugar water away to give, them, to give the other bees less to rob. So hopefully that'll um, persuade them not to. I've also reduced the entrance of the hive by putting a bit of um, by putting a business card over the entrance hole to reduce it to the size of one bee. So really only one bee can get in and out of any time. Makes it a bit hard for these guys getting in and out, but they'll deal with it. It makes it easier for them to guard the entrance so they can look after the supplies they've already got. Now we've still got a few sort of potential robber bees hanging around. So I'm going to get this done quick. What I've done, I'm going to put the sugar water back in for them. But what I've also done is, I've taken some of my top bars. This is my top bar with the normal dowel along the underside that they would normally attach to. And I've put a groove up the middle. Maybe not very neat, but a groove all the same. And Put a bit of foundation wax in there with some beeswax to hold it in. So that'll be in the beehive like that and that'll give them a start to be able to build new honeycomb on which I hope will help them um, have somewhere to store honey um, and have somewhere to for the queen to be able to lay brood. So we'll get this, um, get this lid off, get this done and then we're going to leave these guys for quite a few days, probably till it's Saturday now, probably leave them till like Thursday, Friday next week to do their thing. Because every time, every time you pull a hive apart, every time you pull the bars apart, you do put them behind a little bit. They stop production. They've got to reattach things. They want to properize things back together and all that sort of stuff. So you do put them back a little bit. I'm going to leave them, and I've got a friend putting together a package of bees, and we're going to unite that package with this hive, which will give them a bigger population and give them, um, give, them, give them a fighting chance to get through winter. Okay, so let's get this done nice and quick. Probably won't talk a lot through this, I'll just get it done. But we'll get this done. Alrighty, -o. first thing we're gonna do is get the sugar water in. First thing we're gonna do is wise that bar up like that.
right, things might have changed a little bit with that bar being up like that. That's given other bees a good chance to be able to get in, I'm afraid. Let's have a look what's going on here. You're kidding me. Well, this is not the video I thought it was going to be. Okay, so, no, that's it. They're all gone. This hive is dead for sure. Um, all the bees in here, there's no, you can see here. So, it's not, not the video I thought it was going to be. So, that's it. Big rookie mistake. Um, a real thing to, to, um, to learn from this is if you have honeycomb in your hive that for one reason or another has broken if you're going to leave it in the hive put it in something a plate or something that is going to stop it running outside the hive so anyway that's the way that goes so no this is um they're just robbing this they can get in and out as much as they like there's no one guarding this so that's a shame anyway mate i've always um i've always shown the good and bad on here this unfortunately is one of the bad and um, yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. Lessons learnt, there for sure. I'll just leave that on the ground. I know it's wax wasted but it's pretty dirty wax anyway. So I'm not that worried about that, they can just go into the lawn. And um, yeah. So that's a um, that's a real shame. Anyway, it looks like I've got some cleaning up to do here. So um, I'll get on to cleaning this up a bit, get all the dead bees out. It looks like we'll be starting this up again next week. So I think you can see from that, like one big lesson to take from that is if you're going to leave any honeycomb or if you're putting sugar water in your hive or anything like that, put it in there in a way that anything that drips out, runs out or anything like that isn't going to run out the hive anywhere and attract robber bees especially if your hive is a little bit weak but even if it is a strong hive it, the more robber bees that it, it attracts and robber bees are just normal bees they're, they're just finding a source of um, nectar that they can turn into honey or even a source of honey that they can just take straight home as honey if they find an easy source they're, they're going to they're gonna go for it and they're, gonna, they're going to collect it um, that's that's their job. That's what they do. Um, so yeah, if you can prevent that in the first place, what I should have done when I placed the um, honey came in there, as I talked about, was I should have put it on a plate, and that way the honey would collect in the plate, wouldn't run out the front of the hive. So just that simple thing would have helped a lot. Um, as it is now, I'll be next spring in September or October. I'll be getting, um, or maybe maybe a swarm will come in here. There's already drawn honeycomb in there. They, they might be attracted to it. Um, failing that, I will be, um, probably got a friend who said that they'll put together a package for me or that, or I'll buy a package or collect a swarm. One way or another, I'll get bees in this hive and it'll be up and going. Until then, there is a bit of a bright side to this story. Um, I did have some things, that I, some changes I wanted to make to this hive and I'll just take this off which will help me demonstrate those changes okay now one of the changes I want to make is at the moment I've got one hole at each end and I've got three holes in the, in the middle if I was to do this all over again I would just have two holes in the middle and two holes at each end so one of the jobs I will be doing over the winter is putting another hole at each end of the top bar hive. The other thing I'll be doing is putting in a landing ramp for the bees. Okay, so that's something I didn't do before. Some designs had it, some designs didn't. I thought, oh, the bees can fly. What do they need the landing ramp for? Well, it does make it a lot easier for them to get back. Sometimes there are a lot of bees coming back all at once, and if they've got a ramp that they can collect on, it saves them having to hover around or land to, to grip the... Um, the side of the hive there so it, it just makes them a lot lot easier for them um, one change that I have already made which I made before all this happened was the opening and you can see all the wax there that's gathered on there the um, 
opening floor here. So that's been put in there so that during winter time, I can have that floor closed. And if it's a hot day, I can open that floor up and allow some more ventilation to go through. So that's a little change that I've already made. And um, I would I would recommend to have both. It's got mesh in the bottom, so that'll stop bees getting in and that sort of thing. But yes, having the floor there where you can close it up in the cold seasons definitely makes a big difference. Um, yeah, so the, the main two changes I'm making are yeah, just a hole, an extra hole at the ends, so you can give them more holes to get in. Because at the time I only had it had the follower board to here, so they only had one hole. Made it a bit hard for them. When, when they weren't being robbed, it made it hard for them to all get in and out. But yeah, the landing platform will be a big difference for them for sure. Anyway, hope that um, I can help people avoid making the same mistake that I've had. Make sure you keep any sugar syrup, honey, anything like that that you've got there available for the hive contained within the hive. Because if you attract rubber, robbers, you are attracting all sorts of trouble for your bees. Anyway, tough lesson learnt, but if this can help someone avoid making that mistake, then I'm pretty happy with that. Anyway, until next time, happy productive gardening. Bye.